way before Muhammad was. Now I'm going to emphasize the church. Hmm? They are not a public service announcement. We rely on you. Have to understand. Prophecy. You wander into a church. Given by the spirit. And the church people. Derp Green. Full of sin. Then. Concerning Japan. Pan. Sinner who wandered into the. Who need to be ashamed. The church. Rightly. Sinner man. And learn the word. I speak. And the. The. No, I tell you, but unless you repent, you will all likewise perish. Or those eighteen on whom the Tower of Siloam fell and killed them, do you think that they were worse offenders than all the others who lived in Jerusalem? No, I tell you, but unless you repent, you will all likewise perish. Likewise, 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 likewise. I am speaking to thee, and I say that I am the world's light. That is, it is me, the living God, and me alone who brings light to men. And I say, when men will hate the light, despise the light, and try to rid the world of light, what is it that comes of the same? I say darkness, increasing darkness, sin and iniquity abounding on every hand. And I say you are living in times when men thought they could rid the world of light and live in the darkness. Now I say you see the calamity, you see the wickedness, you see the violence, the evil that is mounting up on every hand. And I say it is because men have loved the darkness above the light. And I say they have loved that darkness because their deeds are evil. And I say they want to continue in the wickedness of the same. Now I say this day that I, the living God, do not call my people to dwell in darkness, to live in darkness, nor to partake of the same. But I say that I've called my people to be children of the light, for I am the light of the world. And I say that my people are not meant to be compromising with the world, taking on the world's view, the world's standard, and the world's behavior. For I say to do so is to dwell in darkness and to live in sin. But I say that my people are men to reflect the light that I am to a sin sick, a perverse, a darkened generation. And I say that my people are men to be made glad, ever thankful, that it is me they can look to and believe. For I say when the ones who are mine will serve me with gladness, rejoicing in the giving of praise, then I say they are brought forth in the light that I provide. For I say it is me, the living God alone, who gives light, who brings light, and is indeed the way of life. Now I say you are living in times when nations that once had light have despised that light and preferred the darkness. Now I say because they have gone headlong for darkness rather than the light, I say that darkness is overwhelming them. And I say that they will be utterly destroyed by darkness if they do not repent and return to me. For I say when men will think they do not need the light that I provide, when they think they can dwell peaceably and amenably in darkness, they are nothing but utter fools. For I say that darkness will prove to be devastation, darkness will prove to be damnation of their souls. I say this day, why not be thankful that I give unto you my light, my truth, and my mercy day by day. And I say, why not be thankful that I am the one who will ever guide you forth? For I say, if you will be looking unto me, believing and trusting, then you know that I'm able. And I say, if you will walk in the light, the truth that I provide, then yes, you are directed by me. Now I say, this day in a wayward, a perverse, a vile, a wicked generation, I say, be thankful to receive the light that I provide. That is, be thankful to receive of the truth, the mercy, and the hope of who I am. For I say, as darkness is increasing because men have despised the light, I say they will be severely punished with the darkness they have chosen above me. For I say, when men are choosing iniquity, sin, and utter devastation, that is exactly the cup that they will be given to drink. 
For I say it is me, the living God alone, who brings light and mercy. It is me, the living God alone, who is able to guide men in the way that is decent, the way that is upright, the way that is holy before me. But I say when men are left in the darkness, I say that sin increases, iniquity mounts up, and I say that evil is abounding on every hand. Now I say this day, be thankful for the truth, the light, the mercy that I give unto thee day by day. And I say, be thankful that you do not need to be subject to demon spirits and be overwhelmed and ruled by the same. For I say, when you will indeed be giving yourself to demons, you are giving yourself to death. For I say, the agenda of demons is to kill, to steal, and destroy. I say this day, be thankful that I am the one who will uplift and guide, that I am the one who will direct and correct and bring you forth. And I say, be thankful that for me so are you given the light each and every day. For I say, when you are coming forth in that which I give you, then I say, you are guided in me. And I say, when you are coming forth in the mercy, the truth, and the hope of who I am, then I say that you can be given the strength to continue in my way. Now I say this day that I, the living God, have never called you to walk afar off. I've never called you to be bound in whoredom and wine. But I say that I've called you to be made glad that it is me you can look to and believe. For I say, when you are coming forth in that which I offer, that which I give, then I say you are guided each day by me. And I say that you will be given the light, the truth, the mercy, the strength, and the peace of who I am. Therefore, I say, be steadily looking unto me, believing and hoping in me as the light. For I say, when you are my children, you are meant to be guided in light. Now I say, this day you are living in times when multitudes have declared that it is me that they love, but I say, they refuse my light. That is, they refuse to allow my light to shine within them and show them the darkness that they must rid themselves of. And I say, instead, they compromise with darkness, they cover the darkness, and they gravitate to the world. And I say, in so doing, they fail to reflect the light of who I am. Now I say this day, be thankful that I am the one who will give you the light, give you the mercy, and give you the truth day by day. And I say, be thankful that in me you are guided each day. I say, if you wonder why there is so much darkness in these times, I say it is because men have despised my light. And I say, you see the encroaching forces of darkness, you see the abounding of evil, you see perversion mounting up as a great king throughout this earth, why is it so? I say it is because men have refused and despised my life. Now I say this day when you see those nations that are being overwhelmed by forces of darkness that have come in upon them, know they deserve what they receive. For I say, they have the light, they've turned from the light, they've been abhorring after heathen gods that are not God. And I say, in the process, they have rejected the only light that is found in this world. For I say, it is me, the living God alone, who is the light of the world. Now I say, this day, if you want to imagine a nightmare, think of what it would be to live upon this earth with no light. That is, only the darkness, only the works of darkness, the works of iniquity on every hand. And I say, when you think of how ugly that would be, that is how ugly things can become. That is, in those places where men have forgotten me. For I say, when men will abandon my way to take up other ways, what is it that they do? I say, they abandon light, they abandon strength, they abandon mercy. And I say, they go in ways that are confusion, delusion, and madness, and can only bring destruction. And I say, it is only through me that the light is given and light is restored. That is why I'm giving the call to all men throughout this earth to repent. And I say that the ones who will hear and obey and come into my way, I say they will be guided in light. But I say for the stubborn, proud fools who defy me, where do they end? I say they will end in devastation, ruination, and damnation of soul. And I say that the nations who once had the light, if they do not repent, will be overwhelmed in the darkness. Now I say it is a serious time, it is a serious matter when men will abandon me. And I say when men will forsake the light, there is nothing that can await them except the death that is bound in darkness. So for all of their wise conceit, their imagination, they have found greater enlightenment. I say they have found the way of fools and they will die and perish in the same. 
And I say that it is the time of my wrath revealed. And I say when the nations have had the light, known the light, and walked in the light, then put out the light by their utter hatred towards me. I say it is me, the living God, who will punish and punish and punish them with darkness revealed upon them. Now I say this day that I, the living God, do not call my true ones to abandon the light nor forsake the light, but I say that I call them to come forth in my light. And I say that I call my people to be ever manifesting the light, the truth of who I am. And I say that I call my people to be made glad, ever thankful for the privilege to walk in me, for the privilege to be ever guided, directed, and given the truth that I provide. Now I say this day you are living in a wicked, a perverse, a vile, and evil generation. And I say there is much that befalls the sons of men. And I say it is because of the lack of the light that men will stumble in darkness, commit horrid sins in darkness, and go on in the same. And I say when men are seeing the manifestation of the dark powers that are swarming in, taking over, and are sent to destroy, what can they do against the same? I say, because they have abandoned the light, they have abandoned the very strength that is bound in the same. And I say, they chose instead the way of confusion and delusion, and I say, they will pay for their play. For I say that the powers of darkness love to murder, to kill, to steal, to destroy, and devastate and ruin human lives. And I say, when men will yield themselves to that darkness, I say that they will be devoured in the same. I say this day do not give way to darkness nor the evil of darkness and likewise be destroyed. But I say be giving yourselves to the light, the light, the strength that I provide. Now I say this day when I the living God do offer to a man or a woman the light upon the path and they will take that light then I say they are easily guided by me. But I say when men and women refuse the light to remain in the darkness I say that the darkness increases in their lives. And I say that the suffering that accompanies that darkness will be evidenced unto them. And I say it is because they have chosen to reject the light. I say this day when I give unto men the call to repent, it is that they would come in out of the darkness and be found in my light. And I say when men will receive that call and come forth in the same, then I say that they can be guided by me. But I say, when men are rejecting the call to repent, they will only grow deeper in darkness and die and perish in the same. And not only will they perish, but they will be found bound in the utter darkness of hell forever. I say, this day, be thankful that you do not need to choose darkness, but you can indeed walk in my light. And I say that you can indeed be thankful each day that I am the one who gives light and truth, mercy and strength and hope day by day. I say be thankful that I will uplift, guide and direct you and bring you forth. And I say be thankful that I will cause you to rejoice that it is me that you serve. Now I say this day be glad that I give to you the privilege to love me, to serve me and obey me and be brought forth in my way. And I say, be thankful that to me so are you given the light, the truth, and the mercy day by day. I say, be thankful that through me you are shown that I am well able, for I am the one who will guide forth. That is, a people who will believe and trust and hope in me. Now I say, this day do not weary yourself with darkness nor the works of darkness, but I say, maintain the light and walk in the light. And I say, be ever thankful that each and every day that my light has not gone out of the world. For I say, yes, you will see magnified darkness, you will see the deeds of darkness, but I say that you can remain living in light. For I say, it is me, the living God, who will give you the light upon the path. And it is me, the living God, who will uplift and guide, direct and correct you each day. I say, thank me and praise me for the light, the truth and the mercy that I give, for I am the one who is able. And thank me and praise me that in me you are guided in the light, the truth and the mercy of who I am. That is the light of the world, the light everlasting and the light eternal that I am. Get
is to say what if this were real what if we had something that we thought was threatening our lives imminently all of us together you can only try to imagine what this situation would be like you know this is the end of the world This is footage of the demonstration outside the Danish Embassy in London, provided to CBN News by the NIFA Foundation, an anti-terrorism group. What you can't see in this video is that one of the demonstrators is dressed as a suicide bomber. Okay, 